In this video, we'll explore the most popular stateroom categories in the Norwegian Gym. Stick around and we'll also show you the largest stateroom on board and share some stateroom tips, including how to find information on a specific stateroom by the room number. Let's take a look at the balcony rooms first. The balcony rooms, like the others, have all been refurbished with contemporary modern looks, nice and clean looks. The balcony rooms vary from 200 to 289 square feet and come with two beds that can be combined and converted into a queen size bed. We also have a TV and a couch, as well as a seating area. Of course, you have the balcony, the great view outside, and a couple of chairs, typically a little table. Taking a look at the schematic, you can see that once you enter the room, you have a closet, room for your belongings. On the other side, you have your bathroom with a shower at the glass door, and of course, your toilet and sink and area to keep your uh, toiletries. Further in the room, of course, there's the bed, some bedside tables, and a couple little desk areas. The balcony rooms are a great choice if you're wanting to enjoy the outdoors from a private balcony. Some of the balcony rooms have rooms that connect. So if you're traveling with a large party, you can have adjoining rooms that connect. The club balcony suites, while not part of the Haven, are an upgrade from the regular balconies. They range from 272 to 416 square feet. And these larger rooms have the same style of beds, but they also have a separate seating area with a larger couch and a curtain that divides the room. The room also includes a larger desk area. And of course, when you enter the room, you've got your bathroom with a shower, glassed in shower, toilet and sink. And there's plenty of room in this club balcony suite to spread out. And of course you have the balcony where you can enjoy the sea air, the private view. Again, some of these rooms do connect. The Ocean View state rooms are a more economical option that still gives you a sea view. They range from 131 to 183 square feet, and they feature either a picture window or a porthole. The Ocean View rooms have, of course, the standard bathroom, the shower, sink, and toilet, and the closet when you first come in the door. You can also see from the schematic view that you can divide the beds or you can have them converted to a queen. It's a small seating area, and of course there's no balcony, but you do have a view outside, and you can save a little bit of money. Another popular stateroom choice is the inside cabin. The inside cabins are about 140 square feet, so quite a bit smaller than the others, but you'll save quite a bit of money. They've got the bed and side tables. Of course, you've got your bathroom, the same setup with a shower, toilet and sink, and you've got closets when you first come in the door, a small seating area, and of course, the beds can be converted into a queen if you so desire. Some of these rooms have Pullman style beds that come down from the ceiling, and while you don't have a view to the outside, when the lights are out at night, you'll have a nice dark room and will sleep soundly, especially knowing that you've saved money. To save even more money, select a sailaway cabin and let Norwegian choose the specific room for you. Before I show you the largest stateroom on board, please do us a favor and give us a thumbs up. By liking this video, just click the thumbs up icon below. And now, the Haven three bedroom garden villa, a 4,252 square foot stateroom. It comes with a living room, dining room, and you can see here the living room even has a grand piano. This garden villa also has a garden balcony area, 1,675 square feet with a private hot tub. The master bedroom has a king size bed with an amazing view, but let's face it, the panoramic views throughout this garden villa are amazing. Here's a schematic view. You can see kind of layout. There's definitely a lot going on here. You can see the master bedroom at the lower center of the screen with the bathroom, including a bathtub. And then you've got the two other guest bedrooms, each with a private balcony. And the main balcony 
just right of center on the screen there. And of course, you've got your dining room and your living room with your piano. Quite an impressive stateroom indeed. And now, how about some tips? Keep in mind that the cabins in the same class may vary in layout and size. Also, to cut down on noise, avoid rooms adjacent to public areas. Staterooms directly above or under or next to public areas may have a lot more noise than rooms next to other staterooms. If you're concerned about motion sickness, go for a midship room on a lower deck as they have the least motion. Also, if you'd like to be near Oceans and get some of that awesome included pub food, look for a stateroom on deck eight. If you're interested in seeing more about a specific room number, check out these resources. Cruisecritic.com, cruiseline.com, which also has the Shipmate app you can download on your phone, and cruisedeckplans.com frequently show information, including photos from past guests from specific rooms on the Norwegian Gem. You can find these linked in the description below. Last but not least, for help selecting your stateroom, consult a travel agent. If you enjoy this sort of information, be sure to subscribe. It doesn't cost anything. That way you don't miss out on our future videos. Follow us by subscribing or clicking below. For more on the Norwegian Gem, check out this video next.